Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're still watching The Breakfast Show live on Nile TV International. And in this segment of our show, we're going to be talking about business information modeling, which is a new system in designing and construction for building mega projects. And we will be talking with our guest here at the studio. How can this be applied here in Egypt in the uh, mega projects? And uh, also, uh, it was used in other mega projects like uh, Neum in uh, Saudi Arabia. And it's uh, less uh, consuming, uh, time consuming, and all, also uh, it reduces uh, uh, time and effort and money. And uh, we're, we're glad to be joined here at the studio by Dr. Walid Daliwa, Professor of Urban Planning, who will, be, who will be telling us more about this. Thank you, sir, for joining us, and good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Dr. Aliwa. So you're, uh, you have a vision uh, that you are sharing in the new administrative culture and capital and also NEOM. Uh, that the huge uh, mega project of Neum, uh, the Saudi one, Saudi Egyptian, uh, yeah. of course, partnership, and uh, Dubai also. Uh, so, uh, first of all, we would like you to give us a full definition of the building information uh, modeling uh, and uh, how this uh, particular uh, um, uh, concept yes. or methodology is going to change the phase of designing and construction. Good morning first and um, I th uh, building information modeling is something like a revolution on the design and construction uh, process because it's flip out all the old uh, process design and cons uh, construction process to a new uh, concept the, the concept simply the concept is <coughs> how to uh, virtualize build the building in vir virtual way in a 3d and contain, uh, inject all the information inside this model and after that solve all the problems between all the disciplines which cost a lot of money on the construction and you extract, extract the drones, extract the information which is coordinated information. This um, road or this um, uh, journey uh, at the end it achieved um, less, ti less time, construction, design and construction time, uh, less money and uh, more accurate so n now it's it's implementing it's ready to be implemented or it's 10 years old uh, um, uh, idea but it's it's very useful for the mega projects whatever it is in egypt saudi arabia uae whatever mm -hmm. uh, was this a new system sir uh, applied here in egypt already in the mega projects that we are uh, doing these days some of some of the uh, bem uh, we call building information modeling BIM. Uh, what, uh, some of the BIM consultants uh, are leading the, 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 the big mega projects here or the, the valuable <coughs> buildings here to, uh, to use this methodology and to achieve what I said before, the, the less time, less money, and more accuracy. <coughs> and also in the, in the operation, it, it gives more time, lifetime for the building because you can con control the operation and you can um, reduce the cost of operation and you can uh, cure this, uh, this phase of the project. Mm -hmm. Does it really depend, what, are, what is the foundation of that particular technique uh, or methodology? Is it technology? I mean, do you design it um, technological, in a technological, uh, electronic way first yeah. and then you apply it? So it's basically depending on technology. It's a technology, uh, uh, not the good old-fashioned way, which is the design on a paper. Uh, with the, the yes, usual yes, uh, design, on, uh, the, uh, design on a paper, the old-fashioned way. It's before eighties or uh, the, the, the computers start to uh, have a share on the design Replicas. construction. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, on the time of about, about eighties, end of eighties, uh, or eighties or nineties, But the the point is now <coughs> the, the BEM uh, methodology is. The, in the process itself, mm. in, the, in, the, in the design process, in the information process itself, the, the BIM road itself. But uh, it's a joint venture between the, the technology as the, the, uh, the softwares we are using, softwares we are using, cloud technology, and the data process itself. It's a combination between project management or, or, and information management and the software technology uh, and infra infrastructure. Mm. So at the end, it leads this this uh, this mix leads uh, at the end to a new uh, information process. 
starting from the time the client uh, request for the for the for, uh, for the building or the for the the project until mm -hmm. operation. Mm. Right. Well, uh, sir, we have uh, some photos that you brought with you. Would you like us to display here on the screen now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay, I so want uh, me to talk about the each one? Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, these are some of this the is a sample of a, a hospital uh, project. Th this is the digital model. This is not uh, this is not the, the, the site. This is the digital model, mm. and uh, uh, it's that, that it shows that it simulates the, the the reality one hundred percent. So you you solve all the problem in the. In the on the virtual model, after this, you will have no problem on the site, which is more cost and more time uh, waste if you have a problem on the site, in the construction site. Mm -hmm. um, this is the information cycle. The, the, this is the part of the BIM management uh, cycle. This is like a, the, this slide, like a processor uh, behind the, in the computer. You cannot see it, but you feel the power uh, of it. This, uh, this diagram controls the, uh, or manages the, 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 the data flow in the project starting from the client request, the, how the, he will request uh, to do the building, how to request the, to design the building, how we will do it as a uh, consultant contractor with the share of the BEM consultant, when we will submit that, after that we will go to the design process, how we can check between every phase and the, and the other until uh, construction, soft landing, operation. Mm. This this slide. This is some of the uh, the, the BIM achievement. Uh, when, whenever you find a digital model <coughs> for the for the building that's not built yet, that means you can make a lot of studies on this model, like real, energy modeling, clash detection. Clash detection means this beam is not clash with the with the with the AC duct or something like that. You solve this before the site, before go it send the drone, the drones to the site, because on the site it costs a lot. It costs mm -hmm. to solve something like this. It costs a lot. So whatever, you, whenever you have a digital model, 3D digital model, you can make energy modeling on it. You can you can make an energy modeling study on it. You can make a shade study on it. You can see which when the sun will come from which window during the year. Uh, the view, the the the. Uh, that usually doesn't happen when it's being drawn on a paper? It's very difficult. You can compare, you can so, compare. So that is the privilege, yes. that is the advantage. Yes, a lot of privileges, a lot of privileges. What are the advantages exactly? Uh, be, be, besides like saving time and money and increased accuracy, mm. uh, the, the, the concept of saving time and money you solved, as I, th I said before, you solve the problems on the time <coughs> and the less cost time, which is on inside the office. Do you, do, you, do you get into the intricate details like the rooms, like the yeah, uh, yeah, facilities? Yeah, like everything, uh, everything, and you can name it, everything, mm. everything, uh, yeah, 100 uh, percent kind of information, like a real building, but you have it in a digital, uh, virtual, 3D model. But it's very costly, no, I heard. No, that's the point, that's the point. Whenever it, that's that, that's why the BIM consultant in this in this time is very useful for the project because it's a, it's a one of the stakeholders on the project has high level of, uh, of uh, skills and he can it doesn't need everybody to be learn this how to do this it will waste time and the return of investment will be very late because it takes it takes about two years to to can see what what you learn your team and how to. But when the, the, in the, in the, the BIM consultancy in this, in this area give service for everyone, lead everyone, and at the end achieve, one guy achieve what the methodology designed for. Mm. It's something like, mm. as I told, I told you before, it's a revolution, it's a mindset. Mm. It's a uh, state of the art. Yes. We still have some. We still have some. This, is the, the, this is the concept of BIM. We have, you have here the, on the right side the model. We build the model, we not draw the, the, the drawings, we build the model for, for the building, contains all, all kinds of information and we extract the drawings for, because until now the, the labels on the site and the, uh, the manufacturers, uh, they are using 2D, 2D drawings, but in this, in this time these 2D drawings will be the most accurate one, there's no conflict between something and another thing, can stop the work on the site or can 
increase the, the cost of this fees, the construction fees. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it easy during the implementation process to, uh, to change to BIM? I mean, you start, start with another system and then uh, shift to BIM? Actually, the, the, there are a lot of challenges to shift to BIM. The first, the first one is the knowledge, the knowledge itself, the, 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 the knowledge of what, what the meaning of BIM. It's a, it's a matter of changing the software or uh, uh, change the methodology, change the... It's, change the, the, the rules and responsibilities for some of the, of some of the uh, team or, or teams or the, the relationship between the consultants and sub -cons uh, the main consultant and subconsultants and the contractors. So this is the know-how, uh, this is the, the roadmap for that. Uh, the, the second thing is to change the mindset of the doers or the, the people who create the model from 2D thinking uh, background to 3D thinking back, background. This is very difficult. We have another change of the return of, inv of investment itself. Some of the uh, consultants or contractors, they think that BEM will, sol will, will, will have um, will has a magic solution it, and it will solve everything. And whenever we'll, we implement BEM today, tomorrow our life will be heaven. So this is not true. Any it takes at least two years to, to have uh, uh, the feedback, the, the mm -hmm. accurate feedback, the accurate saving, and it takes time training the people. Sometimes some, some companies give training for the people and the, these people for the staff, and the staff feel that they are, their value is getting high, so they go to another place. Mm -hmm. So that's that a lot of achievements, that IT achievements, the infrastructure, the kind of computers. So, it, so whenever, that what my, my idea is, it doesn't need to everyone to go through this achievement and to put money every every uh, stakeholder, uh, contractor, consultant, and, and, and it's, there is something named BEM consultancy can unify this uh, know-how and it can lead the others to achieve the. the I like uh, the question that uh, my colleague Nivin have just. Uh, uh, taken, which is uh, the uh, uh, changing or uh, the, the the maybe the model on implementation, while implementing while executing it, if a c customer or a client needs to change something, can we do it? What do you mean change something? B that's what that's exactly I, I I could say that this is how I understood her question, which is uh, I, I saw the the the, the um, what can I say the model. Do you call it a model? Um, digital. Mm. And then on implementation, I sort of had a change of heart. Mm -hmm. So I said, I, I decided to change a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Would I be able to very do this? Easy. Very easy. It's to so change. I have to change it. You have to charge me again digitally? Actually, <laughs> actually, it, it, it takes some, some of the changes, major changes, takes seconds. And before but it takes we charge a lot of weeks. money for the digital, uh, another digital. I, I believe in something. This methodology targeting to reduce time and uh, effort and, and, cost, money yes, and money of the des of, mm. of design, design and construction. For later on. Now and, and, and after in design and construction. So this mes m m the, the methodology reduce the, co the, the the cost of design. As mm. example, if you are, if you design this building with the ten pounds and the methodology can reduce it to eight bounds, that means we save time, mm. we save money. We already said that th this, uh, this way can save uh, money, not, not cost more money. It costs more money and, and most of the consultants did not establish them yet. So they over they overhead uh, this establishing or implementing cost on the first project, on the, on the second project. So mm -hmm. it show that it's more costly. No, the, 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 the accurate thing, it's less cost, mm. not more. That's why we, are, we, we, say, to, uh, we say that it will re, uh, re, reduce the time and it will reduce the money. So it's not increased if you implement it in the, right, in the right way. If you have a BIM leader in the project can lead it on the standardized way, on the background because it, it has a lot of backgrounds to, ha to be a BIM leader. Mm. So th this is the point. And mm. this is the, the key point of uh, implementing BIM. Mm -hmm. How many countries around the world are using uh, business information modeling? 
Uh, for sure UK, because UK, they are the leaders on this, the standard is UK. There is another uh, American uh, interface for the standard, but for sure for UK, they mandate uh, BIM for the governmental uh, uh, projects. Uh, in Dubai, they mandate uh, BIM in um, at 2003, and Abu Dhabi also. Singapore are leaders, are leaders. Uh, South Korea are are super leaders. Uh, some of the uh, American states, not all of it. And now it's gradually Scandinavian. They are using different, different, but the same methodology, but with different softwares. Mm. And the and the and the Arab and the Middle East area, whoever feel the benefit of them, they implement it at least individually. Mm -hmm. Individual means uh, company base, not in, uh, individually uh, as a personal base, but uh, as a company base, wh whoever at, uh, feel the achievement or read about it or know about it or deal with uh, consultants, BEM consultants uh, about it, they implement it directly because mm -hmm. it's useful. Right. From what, what we could understand, uh, BIM looks like it could be very beneficial to some exact missions, like the infrastructure. Like if you're building a bridge, you, it's going to save us a lot of hassle concerning the, uh, th the uh, I mean, uh, the challenges that could or the mistakes and because we, we, how many times have you heard stories about people uh, designing, uh, for example, bridges and technically something technically goes wrong and that the whole thing collapse or uh, there are popular very popular stories about yeah. something that goes with a default and it doesn't work mm -hmm. like in the the open bridge and uh, all these things mm -hmm. so these types of uh, projects like bridges the um, infrastructural projects is it a little bit much more success does it achieve success more than buildings uh, for my from my point of view the infrastructural projects are more e a lot of easier than the uh, the complexity of the, the buildings. Of buildings. Yani can you, I will give you three types of buildings. Hospital, hotel, airport. Hospital is very difficult. Yes. Hospital, hospitals, hotels, airport. Mm. When, whenever you find a lot of systems mm. and they are clashed with each other, this is the use for them. But for the infrastructure, it's, it's very useful, but it's not that much complicated. Uh, complicated. Mm -hmm. So they, 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 uh, the, the, the key word in the infrastructure would be on, um, on uh, what, do you, what do you call it, the, the leveling sometimes, the, uh, it's, it's free, it's not that much. Uh, no intricate details. Yes, uh, but, but look at the hospital, what's above the ceiling of the corridor. There is another life there. Mm. A, a lot of systems clash with each other. You can spend months and months ju just to solve what above the corridor. What about the corridor? Mm. Nobody can can feel that because when you go in, in, the, in the corridor, you have imagine. a ceiling and you mm. don't know what what's above. What's above is a, is a different uh, different mm. way and different mm. things. Mm. Very complicated. Mm. So, uh, hotels, airports. Mm. Whenever you have a lot of systems and become to be complicated, whenever whenever the the BEM is very useful for them to be implemented. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, sir, as you said, it's mainly used in mega projects. What if we want to apply it on small projects? Whenever, whenever you go small, like a scale of villa, it's not compli complicated. Mm. As example, for the band of uh, air condition, it's a, it's a window or a split, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But if you have something more complicated, it will be useful. You mm -hmm. can do this for villas, compound of villas, whatever, whatever the, the scale of it. Mm. But the the what about the the buildings, uh, like regular buildings? Regular, it could be for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure, but whenever you go small, uh, whenever you lose, the, you, you're not gaining that much benefit. I mean, w would it reduce also time, money, and effort? Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. That's the default that the basic. Also, from what we understand, is that the that particular technique is uh, uh, good. It was made to reduce risks. Yes. Of failures. The construction right? risk and the design so it's risk. So main target is reducing the risk of failures. Yes. Okay. But, but also, is there a place for inspiration, like uh, as an architect? I mean, you are an, you are an yeah, architect, yes. of course. But you are one of, uh, I mean, one good architect, much more of an architect like the good old-fashioned ones, because mm. you're applying your technique in a very complicated way. So as an architect, is there a place for inspiration? 
in this in this particular technique i mean you can ins inspire i mean new te new styles new state of art for modeling. sure for sure it gives you a chance to design buildings in, in a way you you never did it before i'll give you an example of uh, museum of the future in, uh, in dubai the mm -hmm. shape of it would mm -hmm. never be achieved in the old way in the old uh, tradition process would never it's like a dream if you th that time but now we achieve it uh, the free form buildings, the, the study of the interiors, because mm. you can make a virtual reality also, and you go, th you go through the, the interior virtually, and you can see everything except the, the texture. The texture you can you can feel it with the, from the sample of the of the uh, of the, the material itself. What I mean is, implementing modeling or implementing BIM. Um, now we have a 3D printing. You can build. You can built a brand, uh, building by 3D printing. Mm. Right. So, well, uh, amazing. So it, it, it's opened the, 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 the mind dream up to the, uh, the, the limit because now you can achieve that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I would like to thank you very much, uh, you. Dr. Walid Aliwa, Professor of Urban Planning, for joining us and for your insight. Thank you so much. I enjoy a lot with you. Thank you, thank thank you so much. And dear viewers, uh, now we go to this short break and we'll be right back.